In his first three days as Premier, Jason Kenney is coming out swinging. Since being sworn in, he started a court battle with B.C. over the so-called turn off the taps legislation. Today, he's on Parliament Hill meeting with the Prime Minister. Kenney and Justin Trudeau spoke on the phone ahead of today's meeting. Kenney describing the conversation as cordial, but we know the pair don't see eye to eye on a number of issues. The Prime Minister was a constant target for Kenney when he was on the campaign trail. Kenney vows to fight the Liberals in court over the carbon tax. He also is talking to the Prime Minister about his opposition to two proposed energy bills. I'm simply pointing out that there is a deep and growing frustration in, in my province and that it's the role of the Prime Minister of any party uh, to safeguard national unity. These bills undermine national unity. Um, but we can convey, we can have a frank conversation on that, in, in, I think in a respectful way. Um, and, um, and that will be my intention today. Terry Fikowski joins us with more on this, and Kenny is talking to more than just the Prime Minister today. Yeah, Ian, Jason Kenny also testifying at a Senate committee in Ottawa this morning, saying Bill C-69 not only threatens Alberta's economy, but creates a divide with the rest of the country. The bill would change the way energy projects and environmental assessments are made, but the Premier refers to it as a no-pipeline bill. Testifying today, Kenny claims the bill violates Alberta's rights to regulate its natural resources. Now, three federal ministers behind the bill spoke after Kenny saying the existing system has failed to allow a new pipeline to be built in Canada and the goal is to prevent legal delays. Kenny says he will immediately launch a constitutional challenge if it passes in its current form. Now this comes on the heels of proclaiming the so-called turn off the taps bill in BC just yesterday while many analysts say he's creating friction with his provincial and federal counterparts. Others say this is exactly why he was elected. I think that's actually a very good strategy. Otherwise, we'd be just frozen and not doing anything but just talking. So we want to have some action right away rather than sitting and waiting and talking somewhere. We've talked too much. Let's get moving ahead. Speaking with reporters today, the Premier repeatedly warned these energy bills threaten national unity, referencing a recent poll suggesting half of Albertans are prepared to secede from Canada. Ian? Thank you, Terry.